it's AI, let's say we were just talking about art, or let's say we were talking about like, I don't know, language learning. Um, to me, uh, it all has to be done with, you know, with us, especially at this point. And so engaging in projects that are that are mutual and reciprocal, like all those things that I talked about, and how to do, make anything ethically, they, they totally apply um, and draw completely from you know indigenous method, research methodologies. And so um, at this stage, it's possible, I think, only through like real reciprocal collaboration. Um, I mean, um, my experience as a Lakota researcher has been that um, there's not a whole lot of there's no, almost no really good resources to be drawn from in academia or online, or it's all in person. I mean, um, the reason I, I, I quote Posthumus so much is because he's written something awesome, but you know, he's not even Lakota, um, and that, and, but he's done some good research. But the, there's more research to be done in order to have like, if we're talking about, there's other, other um, nations that have much stronger research and have, um, and are able to engage on, on, on different levels now, but um, especially in Lakota um, philosophy, there's um, it's still the base, the, the base, to, the well from which to draw from is still being built, um, which I which I have found. Um, but yeah, ethical and reciprocal relationships are make everything doable. And I hope that these things, I do hope, I really hope that as long as they're contextualized, um, that, they, that they get used. And I really hope that um, as we open this up, that, that other, um, as we start making prototypes and stuff, that other AI researchers like, really um, are willing to help, and, I, and they already are, um, but willing to make something and help um, uh, make something good. back when I was just being an artist and just making, um, I just wanted to make a music interface. I just wanted to have a, like a MIDI keyboard that I could wear, basically. And I immediately, um, but it's, you know, and to me it's the same, and the, the problem continues. I don't know who's making, I don't know who's making my, my computational stuff. I don't know the genealogy of my data. I don't know um, Rebecca Freeman personally. I don't, um, the, I feel like what's possible um, in um, in uh, starting imagining new models and imagining and hopefully being aligned with um, with movements to um, not just decolonize but like uh, take slavery and and like murder out of uh, mining. Um, I think these are all happening at the same time, and and it's like it feels like hold like baby steps holding hands to like show, oh, other methodology is possible. Like we can build things in, in a good way um, and and address the bias from, from the bottom up. I mean, if, if this was Jason's talk, he would he would um, tell you all about the, uh, the Kanaka Maoli, uh, the Hawaiian um, coding. They're, they're, re they're writing code in Hawaiian and translating, tra starting by translating code into Hawaiian, coding languages into Hawaiian, and then I think they're interested in making a new coding language in Hawaiian, which is, um, which is people people write new coding languages all the time. But um, but it's one of the steps and exercises to be like, okay, well, one of the things that I wonder is, let's say we make all of this and we, we make a computer and um, let, let's say we, we were writing completely in Hawaiian. What if it was the same? Mm -hmm. this, computers were exactly the same. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I think. Um, I think this is this is just one little field, but you know the real AI is important and um, uh, decolonization is important. But really, these are all arguments around the same thing, which is like, uh, how do we not murder everything and genocide everything? And um, you know, they're, they're, these are just one tiny little node on the um, on that 
that comp on that complexity. So hopefully it eliminates bias along uh, along the way. Yeah. Anyone else have a hand? Well, maybe we'll like, if we can stay after if people want okay. to ask questions or privately or whatever. Okay. Um, but thank you so much, Suzanne, for your talk. Yeah. Thank you. And please follow our uh, workshop and speaker series. We have a lot of other talks um, coming up, and all events are free and accessible and open to the public. So thank you again. Mm -hmm.